St. Eustace was the commander-in-chief of the Roman army under Roman Emperor Trajan. He went by the name of Placidus until a divine intervention he had experienced on a hunting expedition. On this hunting trip, Placidus encountered a stag with a glowing crucifix between its antlers. He then heard a luminous voice that told him of his fate, which was that he and his family would suffer for Christ. Following this event, Placidus converted to Christianity and took the name of Eustace at his baptism. His wife, Theopista, and two sons, Agapius and Theopistus, converted as well. Soon after the conversion, the family lost its land, servants, goods, livestock, and social status. The family was obliged to leave in secret by Emperor Trajan to avoid embarrassment. This made St. Eustace plan to leave Rome for Egypt since he was not known in that region. The family traveled by boat. However, the owner of the vessel casted his eyes upon Theopista and lusted for her. The owner ordered for Theopista to stay with him as St. Eustace and the two sons left aboard the vessel for Egypt. Eustace was angered and saddened to be separated from his wife, but had no choice but to proceed to Egypt with his two sons. Once the three arrived to the land of Egypt, they traveled by foot. Eventually they came upon a river that had neither a bridge or boat to help them cross. St. Eustace decided to swim his sons to the other side one at a time. After swimming one to the other side, he started to swim back to get the other son. He then saw one of his sons get taken by a lion, and then the other son taken by a wolf. He could not get to them in time, so there St. Eustace was swimming in the middle of the river, thinking of how he once had his wife, two sons, a prestigious career, and home, and now he was all alone in a strange land with nothing. He then remembered the moment when he saw the stag with the crucifix and the divine voice that had warned him of his struggles to come. At that moment, St. Eustace submitted to God's divine providence and continued on with his life in Egypt. Fifteen years had now passed and a new Roman emperor was on the throne. Enemies had invaded the Roman Empire's land, so Emperor Hadrian started searching for the Roman Empire's valiant commander-in-chief from the past, Placidus. Eventually, the Roman Empire found their lost hero and brought him back to Rome. Emperor Hadrian reinstated St. Eustace as the commander-in-chief of the Roman army and ordered him to eradicate the invaders. St. Eustace obeyed these orders and led the Roman army to victory. While on the march home, by miracle of God, Eustace became reunited with his wife and two sons, because word of the victory by commander-in-chief Placidus had spread amongst all of the Roman Empire. His sons had actually served as Roman soldiers under his command. St. Eustace now had everything back he thought he had lost for good. Once the Roman army returned to Rome, Emperor Hadrian held a celebration for the victory. While multiple sacrifices were made to the pagan gods at the celebration, St. Eustace and his family would not take part. This enraged Emperor Hadrian, so he had them imprisoned. St. Eustace, Theopista, Agapius, and Theopistus would still not sacrifice to the pagan gods, so the emperor had them thrown into a den of lions. However, by miracle of God, the lions would not attack the family. Enraged more than ever, Emperor Hadrian had St. Eustace and his family thrown into an immense, red-hot, brazen bull. This would be the death of St. Eustace and his family. St. Eustace loved the one true God so much that he forwent his prestigious rank and luxurious lifestyle for his Christian beliefs. He and his family remained firm and vigilant through their lives as they suffered for Christ until death. This is why St. Eustace is remembered to this day, and why he deserves to be remembered as a martyred, canonized saint. So as a saint, Eustace is affiliated as the patron of fire prevention, firefighters, difficult situations, hunters, and family unity. Of course there is more. These are just some of the affiliations that are connected to his life. St. Eustace is the patron saint of firefighters and fire prevention because he and his family became martyrs after their death in the brazen bull. He is also a patron saint of difficult situations because of all the suffering he went through for Christ. Then hunters because of St. Eustace's divine intervention he experienced on a hunting excursion. He is then also affiliated with family unity because of how his family was able to come back together after being separated. These events from St. Eustace's life are why you can ask him to intercede for you when it comes to fire prevention, firefighters, difficult situations, hunters, and family unity. Now you know the legend, tradition, and patronage of St. Eustace, a man who experienced divine intervention and remained resolute as he lost his status, family, and life for God. This is why the name and story of St. Eustace is remembered to this day, why we ask for his intercession, and why he became a martyred canonized saint in the Roman Catholic Church pre-congregation. Gratias Atem Deo, St. Eustace, pray for us.